How you doing, sir? How can I help you? Let me see your license, please. Sorry, what? Can I see your driver's license, please? What do you need that for? When can I see your driver's license? What's please? that? I'm, I can't hear you, sir. I can't hear you. Okay, can I see your driver's license? What do you need please? that for? Because you were on your cell phone. I wasn't on my cell phone. Sir, yes, you were. No, I wasn't. No, a sergeant. Sergeant. Okay. All right, I'm happy to meet you, sergeant. He's gonna I'll be waiting. Taxi. I'll be waiting. I don't care what you All think. All right. Well, if there's a sergeant available, I will get one for you. They're, they have to be available. They're on duty. They have to oversee idiots like you. coming back. I feel threatened. He's coming towards me. Stay back. I feel threatened. I feel threatened. Stop. This hypocrite is now calling me a stalker because I film him at court on the public sidewalk and he has he has the nerve to try for the second time to tell the 911 operator that I have a weapon. Um, so, uh, I also wanted to, and then Glenn says that he has talked to the, um, you know, filed a report with the King County Police, which was in the mound of documents that he sent me. Um, Glenn has filed several complaints with YouTube, and he also, um, he filed reports to the King County Police and the internet crime center he filed a complaint with the department of justice and um the federal trade commission here is the he he attached this narrative to a couple of his uh complaints and he thinks i'm working together with um, Erica Bennett and that's not even where I got a copy of the NCIC document so um, yeah so I, I'm just to clarify what Glenn says on the phone call I have not been charged with any crime you can file a report it doesn't mean you're going to be um, charged so that being said um, here is that okay um there was uh two 911 calls made um and this is the first one 911 what is the address of the emergency you yeah, have someone stalking and harassing me at the um Linwood district court um they have a really big purse it looks like they might have a weapon Okay, is that the district court in Linwood? Yeah, this south, uh, south district court. They're following me and stalking me. Alright, what's your best phone number in case? 3086. Okay, tell me exactly what's happening. Um, I just left court and the person I um, found court stuff against they're following me stalking me harassing me okay um, I... and this is person that you filed something against yes that's right yes they're in a silver car okay did you see any weapon at all in the purse a real, or... real big real big purse um you kept reaching it and uh, so I, I don't know okay one moment And she's currently in a vehicle? Yeah, she's, she's now sitting in the passenger driver's side of a, looks like a Toyota. Okay, one moment with that description there. I think it's a Toyota, um, silver Toyota, um, four-door sedan. So she's in a, a silver Toyota sedan? Yeah. 
Okay. Did you get the license plate of the sedan at all? No, I'm kind of hiding behind the building. Okay. But they, they keep pointing something at me. I don't know what they're pointing. <laughs> of course, all this is fabricated. This is all Glenn's imagination. He's making all this up, and it gets it gets to the point of being absurd. And, of course, Tella is just standing around over on the sidewalk filming him as he's making all this up. Now, we this is the 911 call that she uh, foyered. Um, and she's kind of put it together with, with her time there. Uh, it just shows you just how absurd this guy is. And this is not the first time he's done this with 911 calls. He's, uh, as I'll show you later in the uh, video, uh, this is um, a habit of his. So keep that in mind. This guy is a giant POS um, Anything we can do to expose this guy and push to get him charged for false reports. I mean, it, it, you'll see. It gets it gets to the point where it's ridiculous what the accusations he makes. All right, let's get back to it. All right, and so, sir, did you... So, you had mentioned the purse. What makes you think there's a weapon inside of it? Well, she kept reaching in it, and so, I mean, it's a really big purse, bulky. It looks, looks orange or red. It's um, just really packed with stuff, and she keeps reaching in it. Okay. I would like to press charges for her asking and stalking. I think you want to press charges for the, for the stalking behavior right now? Or? Yeah. Yep, yep. I literally can't walk in my car. Like, this person's like, will save that for me if I go there. Currently, like, kind of hiding and unable to leave. Yeah, I'm behind the building, like, towards, um, you know, um, Walgreens. Uh -huh. On the Walgreens side there? Yeah, on the other side of the flag with a. I'm, I'm, I'm at the courthouse, just on the walk yeah. side. Okay. All right, can you give me a description of, like, do you know who she is? Um, like, her name? Her name is Elizabeth Klein. Okay. She's 59. That's C-L-I-N-E. And her first name is Elizabeth? No, her first name is Sharon. Her middle name is Elizabeth. Okay, well, what's her first, how do you spell her first name? Sharon. S H A R O N. Okay. You know her date of birth? She's behind me now. She's following me. Is she on foot or in her vehicle? She's, been, she's on foot now. Okay. Do uh, you know her date of birth or about how old she is? No, I don't. Okay. She's so how old is she? Look? She's 60. Okay. Yeah, go! Okay, can you give me a description of her? What race, um, what's she wearing? She looks white. She's over, she's having sex. What's she wearing? Um, she's wearing a red, um, thing, a sweater, um, white shirt, brown pants. I can't get to my car. I feel threatened. Okay. You might want to wait the cops are coming. And when you were young, yeah, I went a second ago, what was that? Who was that directed towards? Yeah, I was trying to get away from me. Okay. Well, me alone. She's running now. She's running. Towards you or away from you? Like away from me. She heard me on the phone. Okay. So she was following and then now she's running away? Yeah, she heard me call the cops, so now she's back it off. Okay. Which direction is she running in? Towards the parking lot. Okay. I think she has a weapon. Okay. Why do you she's think she has a weapon? She's reaching in her back pocket. Yeah, she put so her hand up. She's reaching in her back pocket? 
it looked like, yeah, but yeah, she put her hand up. She put her hands up, okay. She the car off the court. And what makes it worse is not only does he exaggerate all this and uh, make stuff up and uh, exaggerate everything that's going on, when he's done with one 911 caller, he'll call another one. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, he's talked to three different people by the time this is uh, completed, the last one being a female um, dispatcher. It just just a total POS. I mean, like I said, this is in his history. He's done this many times before. He's even called 911 while he was in the presence of officers claiming that they were not giving him or doing what he wants them to do. It, it's just, he's just, I'm not sure that he could qualify for, uh, being competent for hearing, I don't know. It just something's really wrong with Glenn Serio. Okay, what's your name, sir? My first name is Glenn. My last name is Serio. How do you spell it? C E R I O. Okay, Glenn, and uh, do you want officers to make contact with you there? I would like to go up there. Bring the officer up there. We have asked them. We have asked them to respond. She's on the run. She's running. She's is running. She, is she still on she's foot? A, she's escaping. Do you have an order together? What? Do you have a protection order against her? No, I don't know this person. This person comes out and stalks me. Okay. It's okay. been happening for four years. Okay. Which direction is she running? Towards the parking lot. She's like waddling, but she can't run very far because she's heavy. Okay. I have notated that she was heading to the parking lot. Yep. Can you send like a dozen officers and have we them around it? We have asked the officers to respond to the area. Yes. How long are um, we going to take? I, we don't have an ETA, but we have asked them to respond. Um, do you still feel threatened or unsafe? Yes, I do. Okay. Getting in the passenger car. Is she getting in the driver's oh. side? Uh, passenger side of it. Okay. There's uh, a couple individuals with her. Um, one's wearing a plaid coat. Older uh, guy. One woman with that. Um, how many of them are there? Looks like three of them. Okay. Are they all male and female, or male or female, or? I see two of them standing out of the car. Okay. Um. I do want to press charges for stalking and harassment immediately. I want her arrested right now. Okay, I have, I have uh, notated that I you were requesting charges he, from stalking. I even told the judge in there, and he says he agrees. He told me he agrees, and he, I submitted all the evidence of stalking. I even submitted it to SPD, and they, they charged her with um, identity theft. Okay, Glenn, but now, uh, what's your middle yeah. name? It's just R. R, like starting with R, like Robert? You got it. Okay, and, and then what is your date of birth? 10 6 1986. Okay. Okay, Glenn, uh, we, have, uh, gone, we have asked them to, to, to make contact with you there um, and, you know, uh, to try and see if, if she's still there so they can reach out yeah, to I'd her. Like, um, I'd, like, I'd like to be in here sooner than later because. It looks like... Yeah, I've noted that you're feeling threatened and unsafe. I don't have an ETA, unfortunately, for you, but we have asked them to respond. He's coming back. I feel threatened. He's coming towards me. Stay back. I feel threatened. I feel threatened. Stop. She's coming. I don't know if she's got a weapon. Do you have a weapon? Do you have a weapon on you? Stay away. Help. Help. Get help. I'm scared. What's going on, sir? Yeah, what's going on is you're being hosed as a dispatcher. Uh, here's a, a still pic of a Tella in the foreground and uh, out on the sidewalk there. And <laughs> it's just, 
Isn't it crazy? Yeah, and, and to think that he he has not been charged for this yet, and and should be. And uh, um, I'm pretty sure Tell is going to look into it and see um, that it had. I mean, I've done 911 calls before, and people that have done less have at least been reprimanded uh, for doing such. Anyway. All right, well, when we get done with this 911 call stuff, I've got a couple of videos that we'll, uh, we'll kind of cut into and, and just show you how disgusting. And some of you know that there's a lot of you out there that may not have been watching this kind of stuff when Glenn was, when Glenn was more um, prominent in the uh, Prodigy scene, which was a couple of years ago anyway. All right, let's get back to it. I don't know. She's walking towards me with something in her hand. She's got something in her hand. Okay. She's got something in her hand. What is it in her hand? I don't know. She walked towards the front of the court. I'm walking around. Is she trying to follow you or make contact with you? Yeah, she's been following me around the building. I can't escape. Inside the courthouse, or is she still trying to follow you? I'm not sure if she went inside the courthouse. She went towards the front. Okay, yeah, we've you know, lost sight of her. Yeah, because I walked around the building. Oh, the okay. cameras, if you if you get the camera camera evidence from the courthouse, you'll see that. Okay. I'm trying to get to my car. I don't know if I'm going to be able to... What is your vehicle? What's the color, make, and model? It's a black Honda Civic. Okay. And where is it parked in the parking lot? I parked in the way back, trying to avoid this person from the beginning. So it's closer to 68th Avenue West or further away towards the... Uh, the the back course. of the parking lot of the, the courthouse. Oh, uh, like the little strip there right behind it? Yeah. Okay. One, what is the address of your emergency? Yeah, reported someone following and stalking me. Okay, what location are you calling in? The Linwood Municipal Court. Or uh, Linwood District it, Court. Is this land I'm talking to? Yeah, she's standing by her car. I don't feel like I can get out because she, she's talking to the sheriff now or the deputy of the courthouse. Uh, okay, is, is she still standing by your black condo? She's not by my car. She's I went. She's by the entrance. She's kind of. She was blocking the entrance earlier. But um, I want to press charges for stalking and harassment. Okay. Are you able to wave down the unit that she's with? And you can get you I don't want to go near because she's next to next to her. So I don't want to go near them, near her. I'm trying to stay as far away from her as possible. Okay. Gotcha there. And then, where are you? So I can request one of my other units. Me too. I'm in the back parking lot. I think the sheriff's walking towards me now. Okay. Is, does he have her with him, or? He no, he's he's by himself. Okay, awesome. Well, I will go ahead and let you go talk to him. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. So that is it. Um, as you can see. I would, yeah, I don't even know what to say. Um, I did call and contact, left a message with the officer just so I could leave a more thorough statement than I wrote that day to let them know that this is the second time Glenn did, Glenn did this to me in the city of Everett, told them that I had a weapon. And that's the thing that concerns me the most is um, him lying to the officers.
Federal law allows citizens to reproduce, distribute, or exhibit portions of copyrighted motion pictures, videotapes, or video discs under certain circumstances without the authorization of the copyright holder. This is called fair use and is allowed for purposes of criticism, news reporting, teaching, and parody, which doesn't infringe of copyright under 17 U.S.C. 107. How you doing, sir? How can I help you? Let me see your license, please. Sorry, what? Can I see your driver's license, please? What do you need that for? Glenn, can I see your driver's license? What's please? that? I'm, I can't hear you, sir. I can't hear you. Okay, can I see your driver's license? What do you need please? that for? Because you were on your cell phone. I wasn't on my cell phone. Sir, yes, you were. No, I wasn't. Okay. Are you not going to give me your license then? So, I don't know what you're pulling me over for. For using your cell phone, sir. That's not true. Yeah, I saw you on your phone. That's not true. All right. Well, that's why I stopped you. I don't care what you stopped me for. Okay. Are you Glenn? Oh, God, here we go. Huh? I'm just asking you. Here we go. I think I've talked to you before. I don't know you. I don't want to know you. Okay, well, I want I'm not nothing. looking for any problems. All You've right? made... I'll you for your license. Okay? I don't want to give you my license. I don't want to take it. Okay. Well, hang tight for me. Glenn, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mail you a ticket to your 8050 Mukilteo Speedway address, okay? For being on your cell phone. Once you receive the citation, follow the instructions to the right of the citation. You have 15 days to answer the citation. Hello? Mr. Serio or Serio? Serio, why not? How, how do you pronounce it? It doesn't matter. Let's move on. Okay. What can I do for you today, sir? I want to report the cop that drew his firearm. Okay. You want to report a uh, cop? The big fat pig, Gonzalez. Okay. Yeah. The only okay. fat ass pig that's around. Okay. I, I'd ask that you be respectful. The big fat pig that doesn't have a body cam or a dash cam. Okay. Make Psychopaths are often pathological liars. Often, they will fabricate blatant lies to give them the upper hand in either the workplace or relationships. They will distort reality to give them power and escape blame for their wrongdoings, often slandering their own victims in the process by acting as if they're the ones who acted maliciously. Even when presented with hard evidence that proves that they were lying, they'll continue making new lies to justify it and continue to reject any accountability. Go ahead, go in there. I'll follow you. Go ahead, you first. All right, sir. So just so you know, you are being audio and video recorded. With what? I don't see any cameras. Right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so why don't you just walk me through what happened? So I was driving down Makatea Speedway, and a big fat pig got behind me, and he he was kind of swerving in the out of lanes, and then he, then he flashed his lights after probably about 60 seconds. Okay. And then I pulled over to the right in front of some kind of bar, and then he... Uh, he walked over to the passenger side of my vehicle, and as he's doing that, he's drawing his gun. He's literally pulling out of the holster, and he's looking, he's telling me he can't hear me. I got the window. So you could see him from your spot on the driver's side, walking My head's completely side, turned, turned, his, like this. Uh, I rotated my head like this. Okay. So, so why is there people me. behind me? I don't know. I don't want to get attacked from behind, so. So you're not going to get attacked, sir. That's what, yeah, I don't play games like that. I don't do that. All right. Well, so, you know, you came here to report something. This police department, that door is locked unless you have an access. Well, I don't know why there's a person hiding right here. I can clearly see them. Okay. So I don't see somebody. Well, it's on camera. So. Okay. Well, if there's somebody, I can't see them. Okay. Well, it may, maybe they moved, right? Maybe they heard me say that and they moved their body, right? Okay. Could that happen? Perhaps no. That's not a possibility, okay, right? So, sir, here, here's the thing. I want to hear you out. And so you said there an officer approached your vehicle for a traffic stop. A big fat pig named Gonzalez. Okay. Yes, he approached my vehicle. He got on the passenger side of my vehicle. Okay. And he, he partially drew his pistol. Okay. Now, that tells me he wants to shoot me. That tells me he wants to riddle my body with bullets. Okay, so, so is there anything that you wanted to document? I brought a statement for him. you wanted to document anything about your concerns? He wanted to shoot me. He was there to shoot me. So did, do you have that on video? Yes, I do. Okay, are you able to show that to me? I don't know what good it will do because uh, he's, you know, he, you're a cop, he's a cop, you're gonna protect each other, so. He says he knows who I am. He says he's gonna mail me a ticket to some address. I don't even know what address he said. He doesn't even know my address. He doesn't. He didn't even get my license. He doesn't even know if I am who I am, okay. you know. It could be that 
never registered to the vehicle. It doesn't matter. He didn't identify me. He didn't legally identify me with my driver's license. Okay. So, so it could be that he recognized you. All right. So he doesn't know, know me. I've never met the fat ass pig before. Okay. He says he knows me, but he doesn't know me. I've never met him. I don't deal with you guys. I don't okay. have any. I haven't had a, a conflict with you guys in like two or three years. Okay. So. All right. Would you like to write a statement? And then we can get you can write it and I'll tell you. I, I can't write it for you. You can write it and I can sign it. That's how that works. Well, I'm not going to write it for you. So well, then have a sergeant come out here then. Psychopaths will act callously to other people, using harsh bullying tactics without any remorse. They'll act this way to anyone, regardless of their relationship with them. Their lack of empathy allows them to hurt others and not feel guilt or shame. So we're not going to write a statement. I don't care you. what you say. Have a sergeant come out here. Zip your mouth, your blonde dyed hair, burn your fucking brain. I don't know. Just fucking bring a sergeant out here and we'll move on. You're too stupid to do your fucking job. What would you like our sergeant to be able to do? I don't care. I'll talk to them. Okay. I'm not going to explain any more to you, D-ball. Okay. Would you like to talk to this officer? No, a sergeant. Sergeant. Okay. All right. I'm happy to meet you, sergeant. He's gonna I'll be waiting. Be I'll be waiting. I don't care what you All think. All right. Well, if there's a sergeant available, I will get one for you. They're, they have to be available. They're on duty. They have to oversee idiots like you. Fucking lesbian. Okay, that's the beginning of the Everett Police Department saga with Glenn Serio. That's how it all started. And there's more to it. But I'm going to break away from that and go to another video where he was in the lobby of a post office acting like Glenn, being a nuisance. And he calls out, um, it looks like he may be National Guard or whatever, uh, military guy. And, and, of course, Glenn has his camera, which is his protection because he knows nothing's going to happen as long as he's recording it. But uh, just to show you how annoying uh, Glenn is. Time you want. Turn Let's the camera go. off. Let's go outside. Let's go. Come on. Turn the camera Let's off. Go. Let's go outside. You want to do hand to hand yeah. combat? Hand to hand Let's combat. Come on. Hand to hand combat. Come on. Let's go. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You ain't going to do it. No, nah, come on. Let's go outside. You're all talk. Come on. You're all talk, Let's buddy. Let's go outside. Come on. You're all talk. Put the camera down. You're all talk. Put the camera down. You're going to call the cops. They hit you. No. No, go ahead. You're going to call the cops. Go ahead and hit me. You said you want to do hand-to-hand -hand You're going to call the cops. I'm right here. Come on. Call the cops. Come on. Call the cops. Look. Asians do a lot for this country, all right? Uh, Don't call her a communist about tell me being what in to China. Do. Okay? Don't ever tell me what to do. Okay? Don't ever tell me right what now. to do in my country. Okay? Don't ever tell me what to do in my country. Why are you backing up? You scared? Step back. You scared? I'm not, I'm, I'm, it's a free okay. country, right? Yeah. You don't want to do anything That's in your right. country. Okay, cool. That's right. Look, I knew you were scared. It's cool. Scared of you? You're just a little guy. 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 Yeah. Big tough guy. One of the textbook signs that someone is a psychopath is a lack of regard for laws, rules, and morals. Most people who are not psychopaths respect rules and laws and have a set of morals that they live by, whether consciously or unconsciously. Non-psychopathic individuals typically believe that cheating and stealing are not appropriate ways to get ahead, being relatively kind to others is their natural behavior, and that laws are in place to maintain an orderly society. In contrast, psychopaths often have little or no regard for these basic morals and laws that the rest of the world follows. Psychopaths make up 17% of the prison population in America, meaning 93% of American psychopaths are already in prison. This statistic might give you more insight into psychopaths' disregard of morals. For you. Learn your job, lady. Look, look, I understand you're a lady. You probably fucking suck some dick to get a job. I, I understand. I don't need to shut up. I don't need to. No, I don't. I'm just calling it what it is. You have no skills. I can do whatever I want. You know why? Because I'm in a free country. I'm, I'm born in America. That's great. So just because you, you way to the top, you know, Great. that's what you did. Come on. You got no skills. You need to leave. Come on. You couldn't take down a, a perpetrator. Look how small you are. 
Look how small you are. We're doing nothing productive. No, you're doing nothing productive. You engaged me. I was minding this and you let that bump all over me. You let piece of shit tramp talk all over me. I don't need to leave. No, cite the law, cite the law. Don't tell me I need to leave, cite. Hello, I'm Sergeant Barron. I'm filling in for the day shift sergeant today. Okay. I understand that you'd, you'd ask to come speak with me. Right, yeah, a big fat slob named Gonzalez. He's the big fat slob. You know what a slob looks like? That's Gonzalez. He's like the portrait child for a fucking slob, okay? So he approached my car. He drew his pistol partially. That tells me that he wants to shoot me. That tells me he wants to riddle my body with bullets. I know they want to shoot me in the back. I get it. I know there's a whole warning label on me and all this crap, but it's got to stop. So I'm not, I'm not going to get fatally wounded by a cop. Okay. Okay. So did you want to provide a written statement was my understanding? You can write it. I'll sign it. I won't write your statement for you. But then that's, I'm give, I'm, we're on video. You can do that. That's how that works. I can sign it, you can, he can write it, anyone can write it, she can write it. Okay. That, that'd be your option with me today is if you want to write a statement. You're I'm not going to write it. You can write it, I'll sign it. In the mind of a psychopath who exhibits narcissistic traits, they often feel as if being better than their surrounding peers justifies their manipulative and cold-hearted actions. Okay. okay. That's the only detail so Gonzalez just there. runs the streets rampantly, no one oversees no, him? No, no. no? no. Okay. Did, did, did you want me to leave this with you or I can even give you some and you can take them with you? Um, you know, it's, you're, you're, you've asked that a lot of times now. If you wanted to leave it, you just leave it, right? Yeah, or I can give them to you. Either way is fine. I, I'm not sure where this is going. Because if you wanted to leave them, you just leave them, right? Well, I can tear some of these off. If you didn't want to go in there, you'd express some concern about going in there because of cameras. Well, it's not the cameras. I got people hiding behind the door. So and I don't want to get riddled with bullets. I get it. Well, I certainly don't have any intention of riddling anyone with bullets. Well, I, I you might not, bullets. but your your coworker does. You know, you at home is there a pen in there? Fine. Well, I have a pen. Yeah, there's there's several pens. Okay. If you want, I can come back in a little while, or you I'll, can always bring it back. I'll let you know when I'm ready. Okay, sounds good. You must. I'm I'm just not taking the conviction. I I won't do it. Okay. I'll renounce my citizenship. You know, in the courtroom. I, I kid you not. I've been done with this country. I'm done with the laws here. I'm done with everything. I'm not willing to take any type of, you know. Okay. So, if I have to tell Oh, you're back? I, I don't want to talk to you. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you. I, I will take your statement. No, I, I don't want to talk to you. Okay. Other guy. Would you be okay talking with the other gonna close the door. I can't hear you. I don't care. I don't care. Go, go with me. Go with me. I don't like you. You're a lesbian. You are. Look at you. You're a lesbian. Why isn't there no sign? There should be a sign, right? Yeah. Let people know it's an alarm, right? Yeah, it would make sense. Right. Um, do you have a phone number or anything in case anyone wants to follow up with you? Well, you sh I, I think that you should probably ask a superior if that's good. I don't, because I don't want to like have to come back here and say it's no good or whatever, you know. What that idiot's doing is setting off an alarm. That's what that beeping is in the background. All right, sir. So, uh, looks all good. The supervisor said uh, just the only thing you got to do is just check the duck box and the initial just saying that you're giving us an accurate statement. So, so the blonde bull dyke. Let's be accurate here. The blonde bull dyke. The blonde. The lesbian. I don't know any officers that are lesbian. But well, she looks lesbian. Well, the blonde officer, the uh, supervisor right now, just... The lesbian. If you want to just... How are you a supervisor without being a sergeant? I, I don't get that. If you want to just check the uh, top box here, initial, and then sign on every form. So what happens if I don't do that? You don't have to. Okay. I'm not going to force you to or anything. So it's still good? It's still going to go in? Yeah, it's still good. Okay, so we're good then. Okay. We're good. All right, well, thanks for taking the time to fill that out. Hopefully your day gets a little bit better from here. So you're in um, Teal, Teal, Washington. Yeah, I'm in Teal, Washington. Hi, dispatch. This is Officer Ball and Uncle Teal. Please. Hey, don't listen to her. I'm trying to get the citation. Um, they sent it to the wrong address. Um, basically, uh, he said something about 8050 Muckatillo Speedway. I don't know where that's at. Uh, my driver's license says a totally different address in Seattle. 
So I need I need to copy the citation. Sir, so here's the thing. The I need shut up. I'm not talking to you. Oh, hey, shut I, up. I, I am uh, I don't care if you're a lesbian. I don't sir, care if you're a lesbian. Sir. I don't Calm care down. if you're a lesbian. Calm down. Are they there helping you? No, Calm she's down. harassing me. I'm trying to explain. She's something. harassing me. She won't get away from me. I don't want to talk to a lesbian. An of the I don't know what it is. I think it's a sir. lesbian. It looks like a man. I swear to God, it looks like a man. All right, sir. I it's got question. no breast. It's got no breast. You have no tits. You can't be a woman. An employee of the police department. I don't know what it is. Sir, it's got no sir. breast. Sir? It's got no hey, no sir. breast on his Listen tits. It's getting Listen it's getting me. loud. I'm trying to talk it's to got you. white fingernail polish. I don't know if it's a male, a woman, it's a transvestite. Sir? I don't know. Sir? I'm not sure if I'm it not is. Sure. We're it's gonna... asking me to identify. We need you to walk They want me to identify. Here. I can't identify. No, no I cannot walk. identify what it is. Can you identify it? Can you? Hello? Are you there? Hello? Hello? All right, sir. What do you want? Okay, I'm asking you to leave the police department. Why'd you, I'm not leaving because I'm on the you phone with dispatch. Your statement form. Okay. No, no, I told you. I, I don't know 8050 whatever okay, address. So the citation is going to be, or the infraction is going to be sent to you. Sent okay. where? Sent where? I don't know what address you sent it to. Okay. Get away so from if me. You have any Get away from me. Reach out to the court. Hello? Sir? We're, you're no longer welcome here. Hello, you can't kick me out of here. Hey, idiots get off all these terms they make. Walk of shame, drive of shame, cam back. Yeah, what's up with that? Uh, you go out and annoy people. You really don't know what the hell you're talking about when it comes to the Constitution anyway. You based all your theory on what your peers put on YouTube and what they say. Who said that? Oh, so I'm being trespassed. <clears throat> so I'm being trespassed or what? For what? No, I wasn't. No, listen. I'm not doing nothing. Listen, listen. Turn around, face away from me. Turn around, face away from me. Oh my God. I wasn't told not to come here. We'll buy you a ride tonight. I wasn't in in the lobby or anything. Again, thank you, everybody. That's that's, that's very awesome, very kind. Yeah. It's for me a lot. So. You're yeah, welcome. you know, having having people like you just being so outspoken and supportive of us really yeah. does mean a lot. And yeah. you know, all the officers here appreciate it, and um, you know, we're just like very grateful for that. So thank you. Yeah, and for a nice bouquet of flowers. Yes, yeah, so those are for you. Gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, and we can take some of this. Well, we'll probably take this, some of this back first. I'm gonna see what's going on outside, and then I'll let you guys know. That creep really followed. Uh, didn't tell. Okay. And for Officer Gonzalez and everybody that he's was amazing. Here that he, day. He's he's you know such a <laughs> he's such a terrific <laughs> officer. You know, we're really fortunate to have him here at the Muscle Police Department. So, um, yeah. And you got fans all over the world want to know what's your opinion about today. Where are you gonna live since you can't move into Jacoby's house? That plan's kind of gone down the pan. Oh, 
Pardon me. Yeah, all your fans are waiting to talk to you. Come on, Glenn. How are you doing, you fat bastard? You ready to go to jail? Sure, why not? I'll drop the soap, yeah. Yeah. We want to allow Trevor to come back and fuck you. Yeah, yeah, right. You are a fat baby. You learn to lose some weight. Look at me not going to jail. Fat Oompa Loompa, bitch ass. Fat fucking bastard. Yeah, right. Look at you. You're a fucking ugly. Did you not tie your button? Why not? Why couldn't you tie your button? Run jail. Fuck your ride. No. Fuck your ride. You. Hey, how'd that law degree from YouTube work out for you there, Glenn? Hey, good, man. I still got that razor, man. Get the fuck out of here. Please sweep my legs. I want to be grounded by you. Why not? Why not? You got your face. Why not? You're a fat. Are we? You look like a bitch. I got the wheel. You look like a bitch. Hey, Glenn, watch out. You look like a bitch. You're getting close to the police department. Oh, these guys. These guys are stalking. I <laughs> uh, can't, they're following me. <laughs> yep. Hello everyone, I am back with a new video with the audio from uh, Glenn's recent hearing where he was suing the police officer from the city of Edmonds. I think you might remember his um, video where he uh, served the mayor and the chief of police and with the intentions of after winning his $10,000 small claims of moving on to a $50 million federal lawsuit. All right, that's it. There's uh, just a little bit of Glenn Serio, the big POS that he is. Um, yeah, uh, share this. Everybody needs to know this guy's just a piece of crap up in, you know, the Seattle Everett area. Uh, I don't know that area at all, um, but that's where he that's where he resides. I'll do a couple more videos on him. There's one where he's in an airport acting a fool and and different stuff and i have some old videos i did a year and a half two years ago i'll, I'll um, uh, move them up as a matter of fact part of that video i, I cut out of a video i did some time back on him now uh, tella also furnished an audio file of a lawsuit glenn um, sued a uh, mayor and a police chief and it's an audio file and she thumbs through the the actual lawsuit paperwork along with the audio. I cleaned it up for her. There was a lot of background noise. I got it cleaned up, and I'm going to post that instead of putting it here on this video. I'm going to post it on my community tab. Uh, that way, if you want to listen to it and hear how much of a, a fool he is, thinking he knows what he's doing representing himself. <laughs> It's hilarious. So I will post that on my community tab. Anyway, all right, there you go. Glenn Serio. Um, we'll be out of here on this one. I'll go ahead and post another one next week on our live stream, Ram Jam, Tuesday night, 8 o'clock. I've invited Tella to come up. We'll see. Um, hopefully she will. Um, and we're, uh, we're going to cover Glenn uh, some more next week keep this uh, piece of uh, crud exposed. All right, I'm proud of the Ram. Till next time, I'll be gone. Jesse, don't go! Jesse, no! I'm sorry, Daisy, but I'm a loner, and a loner's gotta be alone. Yeah! <laughs>